Hi, everyone. I'm Chen Ling. I'm glad to be here on behalf of my collaborators to present our paper, A First Look at Zoom Bombing on SNP 2021. In 2020, society has found itself increasingly rely on online meeting tools due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With many business meetings, online classes, and even social gatherings are moving online. Unfortunately, the mass adoption of these services has also enabled a new kind of attack where perpetrators join and deliberately disrupt virtual meetings. This phenomenon has been called Zoom bombing. In this paper, we performed the first measurement study of calls for Zoom bombing attack on social media. We learned how Zoom bombing attacks are called for and how they are carried out. Our studies has been widely reported and have strong security implication. Based on previous studies on coordinated online aggression, we consider a Zoom bombing attack as being composed of four phases in our threat model. We describe the four phases in detail through an example in which Charlie is orchestrating a coordinated attack against a Zoom meeting created by Alice. Phase one, call for attack. Charlie obtains information about Alice's Zoom meeting. As we will show later, this is often because Charlie is a legitimate participant of the meeting. For example, Charlie is a student in an online lecture. Charlie then posts information about Zoom meeting on the online services of his choice in a way of starting an organization thread. He asks other members of the community to participate in the coordinated attack. Phase two, coordination. The organization thread created by Charlie now becomes an aggregation point for the attackers who will report additional information and coordinate attack by replying to the thread. For example, attackers will post details like a password to access the meeting or personal information about host. Phase three, delivery. The attackers will then join the online meeting and harass the participants. For example, sending them hateful message, shouting profanities, or displaying offensive or indecent images through their webcams. Phase four, harm. The goal of the attack is to cause harm to the group of people. Depending on its success and intensity, victims could suffer serious psychological or even physical harm. We monitor links to 10 online meeting services like Zoom, Google Meet, Cisco, WebEx, and Microsoft Teams. We focused on two online services to collect posts that contain online meeting information, a mainstream social network like Twitter and a fringe web community like 4chan. Between January and July 2020, we identified 12,000 tweets and 434 4chan threads discussing online meeting rooms. The course automatically identified calls for attack is challenging. We build our code book and perform annotation to identify posts that contain online meeting information. The coding process has two steps. First, we perform a binary labeling to determine if posts are indeed calls for Zoom bombing or not. At the second step, we further categorize the posts and the threads that contain Zoom bombing invitations in four aspects thread structure, link information, invitation information, and interaction, with the goal of understanding the behavior of attackers and the target that they choose. Finally, we identify 123 4chan threads discussing such attacks as well as 95 tweets. We analyze them using quantitative and qualitative analysis. We provide analysis in the following four aspects which services are targeted the most by Zoom bombing, how Zoom bombing unfolds temporarily, what is characteristics of Zoom bombing links. At last, we use natural language processing techniques to quantify the content of Zoom bombing thread. Regarding the target services, we observe that the platform with a larger user base seems to be attracting more Zoom bombing attacks, such as Zoom and the Google Meet. For temporal analysis, 
This figure plots the weekly occurrence of bombing and non-bombing posts on Twitter and 4chan. Generally speaking, Zoom bombing as a phenomenon barely exist before the quarantine. We observe a decline of the phenomenon in June 2020, potentially linked to the school holidays. This is in the line with the fact that we observe that most calls of Zoom bombing target school lecture and college classes. We find the 16% bombing invitation on 4chan and the 67% ones on Twitter include a password. This is a worrying trend since it is an indication which we will see in our qualitative analysis later too that many attackers are called for by the insiders who have legitimate access to the meetings, questioning existing security measures and calling for rethinking them. For content analysis, we train a work to vec model to visualize the result for this analysis, Zoom bombing invitation in Fortune thread and the Twitter post. Words are linked if the cosine similarity of their vector embedding is higher than a certain threshold, meaning that they, they are used in a similar context. We use the Rovin community detection algorithm to identify the themes of words. Looking at the fortune graph at the left, we can see that many of the same feature educated topics, such as the red community with Spanish, course, and Skype, and the purple community with university, college and classes. On the right graph of the Twitter, we can again see the same that over cover online classes, such as the green communities with classes, history and math. Photographs for the non-bombing threads on 4chan and non-bombing tweets on Twitter, the same are more varied. Our quantitative analysis highlights several interesting aspects of zone bombing invitation and their discussion. We then dig deeper into our qualitative analysis result to get a more nuanced view of the characteristics of the zoom bombing phenomenon informed by our quantitative results. Based on the threat model, we analyzed attacks across the four phases, call for attack, coordination, delivery, and harm. In the first phase, call for attack, an attacker posts a call for an attack on an online platform in addition to information that can be directly extracted from the URL of the bombing link. Many bombing posts include additional text indicating that online classes are the target. For example, lecture, teacher, classes show up regularly in this thread. We found that 77% Zoom bombing thread on 4chan target online classes. On Twitter, we found that 59% bombing calls target schools. Then we look for two indicators as the evidence of insider's complicity. First is whether the language of the call for attack suggests that the call is called by an insider. And the second is whether the people who call attack shares knowledge about the meeting that only an insider would have. Attackers telling people to adopt certain names to avoid vetting. So together, with all the information from both meeting links and the post text, we identify 70% zone bombing threads on 4chan that appear to have been posted by insiders. For Twitter, we found that 82% zone bombing tweets were posted by insiders. While 100 threads did not start with an invitation of the bombing, 46% of these received no further replies such as the call of an attack seems to have been still bomb. After posting an invite to a Zoom bombing, attackers coordinated to carry it out. We find that 93% bombing links on 4chan and 98% link on Twitter came along with a clear implication that meeting was live at the time of posting. We find 16% threads on 4chan where users openly refused to join into the attack as the acronym NYPA, not your personal army. This indicates that not all users on 4chan are willing to participate in these attacks. This is interesting because it is a possible explanation for at least some failed attacks. 
users do not reply because they reject the idea of being a troll in the services of another user. In this phase, the attackers join the online meeting and begin their harassing and disruptive actions. We find discussion of how the attacks went down in replies within the bombing thread on 4chan. We compare the time interval between when the link is posted and the first feedback on the attack. We find 30% of threads with clear feedback related to the bombing. According to this analysis, a Zoom bombing attack finished within 20 minutes. For 20% threads, we find the participants reporting problem with the Zoom bombing invitation. Finally, we want to understand the toxic speech that happens during attack. We find 11% 4chan Zoom bombing threads containing toxic content, including racism, sexism, or hateful words. On Twitter, we did not find any toxic tweets in our dataset. We can't see what happens in the meeting room. Therefore, crime scene feedback is useful. We find 12% threads containing feedback from the zone bombing attack, providing us a better view of what happening during this attack. It's time to wrap up. Our first conclusion is the majority of the cause of zone bombing in our dataset target online lectures. We find evidence of both university and high school being targeted. Secondly, we find most calls for zoom bombing come from insiders who have legitimate access to the meetings. This is a very serious security implications because it makes the password ineffective to protect the meeting from attackers because they can share them with whoever participants in the attack. In some cases, we find that insiders share additional information like the names of real students in the class, allowing participants to select those names and make it very difficult for teachers and moderators to identify the intruders. We also find that almost all the Zoom bombing target meetings happening in the real time, suggesting Zoom bombing posts cannot be identified ahead of time and leaves no time for the defenders to prepare. Our findings have important security implications because it makes common protections against the Zoom bombing, such as password and setting up a waiting room ineffective. Restricting meeting participants to belong to a single organization may be effective, but this reduces the usability of the meeting room. Providing a unique link for each participant reduces the chances of success of Zoom bombing attack. If the meeting service do allow multiple people joining with the same link, at least this gives some accountabilities. Since the meeting host can identify who shared the link based on the unique link used by the attackers to join. An even better mitigation is to allow each participants to join using a personalized meeting link. In this way, as long as the insiders join the meeting, unauthorized people cannot able to join using the same link. We encourage online meeting platform to adopt access control measures to protect their meeting from the insider threats. Thank you for your attention.